first off, tell everybody who you are, how you got here, and all that stuff. I told you I was going to do that. That's what I do with everybody, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm basically Cog's brother, his older brother. Um, and I'm also I'm known as Icarus, and um, my name's Mike. So, you know, I'm, I, I'm the one who made the beats for him, and he, he fell out with me over it, basically. Now, tell so. us what happened on the beats. I, I saw a little bit. You know, of course, I don't watch Cog because, you know, I'd rather hang myself. But Exactly. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, I do, you know, whenever somebody sends me a clip or something, I might see that. But I, somebody did inform me that he was spurging out against his brother, basically. And I said, oh, very that's, strange. that's something I would he's, like to know about. Salt. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. He's a salt mine. But um, anyway, uh, basically, I gave him a beat to use alone on his own, right? And just didn't have to give him any questions about it. Because I usually write, you know, I, I rap on top of the beat with him. And he basically uh, wanted to kick me off my beats and just use them on his own after i just give him a free beat on his own and didn't even ask any questions so he was stealing your beats yeah yeah basically and saying that i can't come on them it's, the problem was is that he demanded that i can't go on my beats and i said well i get that choice if i want to or not it's up to me and he just couldn't handle that so what he thought he'd do is come to my home and start causing trouble so what he did is he uh, he said he was going to have a conversation. With oh, he came, wait, he came <laughs> to your house? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, oh, this, have like, a this is what happened. He, 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 exactly. I mean, I'd already told him to go away and no, but he still thought I want, He thought that was an invite, and it wasn't. So he comes to my buzzer saying, I want to have a conversation with you, <laughs> which was creepy as fuck. And I was just like, the conversation's over. We, we, I've already said my piece. I'm not going to do any more beats with you anymore because... You clearly don't respect me at all. <laughs> you know, you just want to bulldoze. He's a beat over. thief. <laughs> let's be honest. And he, he broke yes. the agreement. Yeah, go ahead. Exactly. And then, so what he does is he buzzes at my buzzer. We've got a buzzer. I've got like a camera on it as well. So I can see what he's doing. And he's buzzing, he's buzzing, and I'm answering it. And I'm like, go away. Go away. And eventually, to the point, I just hung up and put it on mute. And just saw <laughs> him in the camera. Well, there I've done that goes. with Cog myself. Who hasn't put Cog on mute? Right. Anyway, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> But he's there trying to get in. And, and yeah, I watched him tailgate someone else into the into the building, basically. So he's basically snuck in. Oh, he waited for somebody else to get buzzed and, in. And then, oh, classic cog, yeah. yeah. And, and I was just, I was getting getting all my stuff, just like not even, I was like, I thought he'd gone, really. And I heard this banging at my door. So I'm like, who's banging at my door like that? Oh, it's him. So I open the door. And I'm like, you better fuck off or I'm going to knock your head off, you know, basically. <laughs> and then he said to me, uh oh hit me hit me like as if like like oh like as if i wouldn't hit him and i was just like no that's what you want isn't it i'm not gonna hit you at all no no i'm just gonna get rid of you so fuck off so I kept saying fuck off leave me alone i mean it's all right to swear on there is it so, sure but, yes like, be my I guess said, yeah i just said fuck off leave me alone go away and i was just adamant at that even my neighbor came out and he saw it all he was just like what the fuck he was even trying to stop us fighting because um, we're high up on a high rise as well, so it's like five <laughs> stories up. This guy decides to have a fight with me. It's like, what the fuck? Because all I did is just try and back him towards the door. I, 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 I pushed his little bike towards himself. He's got a little electric bike. So I pushed that towards him and um, I gave him a little push kick, you know, just like an incentive to go away out of the way of my house, you know? And then he took that as he could hit me. So he gave me a sucker punch. Which wow. So wait, wait, he sucker punched you in your own building, like outside your apartment? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, he does. And, and then, I mean, and this was funny, because if you've ever seen one of his gay videos, you'll understand, he's always looking at people sucker punching each other and laughing at them. But that's exactly what he did. Wow. What <laughs> and, a and pussy. And I was just like, I, I couldn't believe he'd even try, to be honest. I was like shocked. So I basically got into a scuffle. Um, he ended up, I, I, I remember actually chilling him hard in Sally's face. So that, <laughs> and, his, and his glasses... His glasses just fell to the floor, and that was just fucking hilarious. And then I actually spun him round, and I got him on the floor. I literally just threw him on the floor. He kind of flopped over. His legs were in the air like a little <laughs> newborn baby. It was fucking funny as fuck, really. I, but it wasn't, because at the same time, I'm trying to deal with this guy and kind of calm him down. I'm holding him down. Like, ah, calm down. We're on a high up. Even my neighbors behind me were like, you've got to calm down. You're high up. You can't be fighting up here. <laughs> fucking dumbass. You know what I mean? So... And then I kind of let him to his feet, back, back the fuck away. And he said, go. So I, then he started shouting about my family. Your family hates you. And all this crap. <laughs> I'm just there like, what? He's like, you're going to be alone. I was like, oh, oh, my heart bleeds. You know, I don't care. 
<laughs> that's the way you want to talk. That, but he's, this is how he knows he's lost. Because when, he, when, when Cog or Johnny or whatever you want to call him, you know, he, we call him, uh, we, we have a new name for him, Upchuck Johnny, I think is what we, we decided Upchuck on. Johnny. We decided on this. Dissonance the, is the funniest one, I think. Because <laughs> that makes sense. Because <laughs> he's very slow to learn. Oh, uh, he is. He's remedial. Like, he's a remedial student, isn't he? Did he have problems now, reading when he was growing up? Tell us the truth. Did he have problems like learning to read and stuff like that? Of course, he's dyslexic, isn't he? Like, oh, yeah, course. that's right. I forgot he's dyslexic. He can barely read. All right, like, go ahead. Well, basically, um, what I think is even more funny is what he's done after this. I mean, that itself was shockingly, you know, just childish and immature and out of his character from what I expected anyway. But, like, obviously, I didn't know him that well because <laughs> look what he was doing. Uh, but it's what he's done afterwards that's even weirder because now making videos about me. <laughs> somebody said, <laughs> look, just I just to... got up, but somebody in the chat said that he's put out like six videos on this today. Hey, he can't, it's like, he is so, he can't, he's like, a, he's like an ex-girlfriend, right? Who hasn't got over it and won't just go away. I'm like, get over it. I've even sent him messages on the phone saying, get over it, man. I'm done. It's over. We're never going to work together. And you fucking disowned me. I don't want to know you. By the way, tell me so, how you got rid of him. First off, finish your story about how you got rid of him. I cut you off a little bit. We're going to take some calls. I'm going to read all these super chats. I was telling this guy we should make him more popular than Cog. That's what I was telling him. That, <laughs> that we should have him take over Cog's time slot and promote him on the kill stream and make him a bigger thing than Cog. That's what I was thinking. Bring him into the kill stream family. Embrace him. Give him the clout. Give him the cloud that Cog squandered. That's what my oh, idea so, was. Yeah, because he's an overbearing idiot. That's what he's probably Well, you're like Cog, like except funnier and quick, you know, quicker witted. And I don't see why you can't just replace Cog, honestly. Uh, but anyway. Of course, it wouldn't be hard. But, <laughs> it wouldn't um... be hard, would it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how, I'm not really filling much of a hole, am I? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, you know, I think he would do even better than Cog by far, especially with our support. Anyway, go ahead and finish the story. Yeah, so basically, um, uh, yeah, so he was, uh, I was trying to back him off. He started to fight with me, ended up on his ass. Um, and then my neighbor, it, we were both there saying, just go away. He kept screaming stuff about my family and stuff, like anyone cares. I was like, just go away. Even my neighbor's like, will you just go away? <laughs> and then he just, when that was it, then after he, my neighbor said it, he'd gone, you know, and I was just like, thank fuck for that. And then next thing I know, he's fucking on the internet crying about me, you know, <laughs> making out like he's the victim or I don't even know what he was really saying. I didn't pay attention. Well, he posted a bunch of your DMs. Look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie and act like I went through and watched his video or his stream or whatever. Cause I didn't, but I oh, saw yeah. he was posting I some did. of your shit. I did see his tweets that he posted your tweets. Yeah. How did well, like, you like a female? You know, yeah. like a, an absolute, you know, a girl, ex-girlfriend who can't get over you. He takes screenshots, right? That's and he has him. To put them up, oh. <laughs> right? So, and and it was so hilarious is he thinks that I didn't write those tweets and know what I was doing, because the reason why I did that is because one, one of the the th things he said to try and reverse psychology me before he fucked off was, um, uh, go cry on Twitter. That's what he said to me. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go try cry on Twitter <laughs> just to fucking laugh at his face. And just blew him up, really, and just said what he was actually up to. Well, I'm glad you did it because house. it ended with you on the kill stream. Like let me, this. let me read, <laughs> let me read a couple of these. Uh, Super Sasha X says Cog's brother doesn't put me to sleep like Cog does. Exactly, that's one Thank step you. up right there. Uh, I see we're over on Entropy again. This was a bit of an unannounced stream, so uh, I don't know. He's I mean, such a piece of shit though, because he's like he's one of those people you do things for, right? Because he's your brother, and then he'll take advantage of you because you did that. Is Cog like, sort I'm, of a leech? I'm, in a way, yes, he is. Well, he's, he's just lazy. He's very or, lazy. Or does he just take advantage? Ouch. How would you describe? Ouch. Maybe he does the do some things. Time, right. Let me describe. Let me ask. Is he on. also on welfare? Because that's a long-standing rumor that we. I'd, I'd say he does work sometimes. In Every once in a while. Stuff, when he feels like it. But he's, he's, it's, it's one of those. He doesn't really need to because he's got his money off his show, hasn't he, really? So at the moment, I don't wow. know, he's, just, he's on and off jobs. That's what he is. So I wouldn't say he's a complete welfare recipient, you know? So, just partial. Um, <laughs> he just uses that to supplement his income. Okay, I got you. Go ahead. Yeah. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, the first time I went down to his flat, um, his whole flat was covered in black mold. And this guy was just living in it. He didn't even do shit about it. And I, I couldn't handle it. I was like, I'm do it. I fucking cleaned his whole fucking house, right? <laughs> oh. Because I was just so tired of it. And he's too lazy. And I just, you know, I just wanted to let you know that fucking hell, this guy, there's nothing you can do for him that is enough. Well, Honestly, look, it happened to me. We used to try to do everything we could to help the guy. Of course, he stabbed us in the back because that's, that so feel... that's the type of dude he is. Now, I feel, st you know, if I would have known he would stab his own brother in the back, I would have never even considered, uh, you know, trusting this guy. But, yeah. 
this is what's sad about him, though, is he, he takes advantage of me because I'm his brother. And he knows I won't beat him up. He knows I won't. He knows I could kick his head in. I could murder him. But I just wouldn't do it because I, I hold back because I have loyalty to my blood. It's just one of them. Even if I don't speak to every single one of them every day, I just, you know, I still have loyalty deep down. That's how I am. I'm a normal guy. I'm not going to try and kill my brother. But I know he would try if he could. But he can't. He's weak. All he can do is go online, uh, take my words out of context to try and make me look shit. Right? Just fucking, just continue with that and, and show how salty he is as well because he can't get over it. It's like, I'm over it. You don't see me making any videos about him. I mean, I'm doing this because I was kind of invited. Well, I mean, he tried but to I, smear you yesterday. <laughs> I mean, and I did invite you clearly. Uh, but, you know, this guy, had a on, this, this guy had a platform. He's trying to smear his own brother. He did. He started this, by the way. This wasn't me that started no, this up. I want that so on the record. Crazy. This wasn't me who started this shit up. This was called yeah. yesterday smearing his own brother over fucking rap beats. That was his idea. And then I said, wow, but this guy's smearing his own brother. I better get him on the show. Anyway, go ahead. Anything like all, all he had to do is agree that, OK, if I make beats, I get a choice if I want to be on them or not. And that's all he had to agree to. But he couldn't handle it. He was just like, no, no. Because he wanted his own way, and that's all it's about. That's really that's all it is. He didn't get it, and he just starts making a tantrum at my for front door. So well, I told you that sounds exactly like Cog. I'll tell you when he started trying to smear me. It was when I Actually, didn't go on and do a debate on his show, and he thought it should be on his show. And I was like, no, I don't want to talk to that person unless it was on Keem's channel because it wasn't. I didn't want to talk to that person anyway. I was only going to do it because it was going to be on Keem's channel. Everybody would see it. Um, you know, once it was on Cogstown, I'm like, man, it's just not even to my benefit. I don't want to do it. Uh, and he, ever since then, it's been, cause he knows he would have got a big, yeah, he knows he, well, it wasn't even against him. He was just going to moderate it, but he knows he would have gotten a big audience. And so he's been, you know, yeah. trying to smear the Ralph Amell ever you, man. since. Yeah, exactly. So he was just trying to use you to get an audience. That's yeah. what he tries to do with me. Basically use my beats to even get anyone to fucking like in, <laughs> be entertained by the forum twat. <laughs> yeah, you should put really, out a diss really track good. on him is what the is what the audience is saying. Uh, well, that's I, I I hear you right, and I love that right. But to me, I'd feel like if I make I want to, and I've got so much content to do with right. But it's like why make one? It, it just it, it almost just looks like I'm not over it. If I continue, yeah, that's true. That's, what that's his true. Is. He, he's. He's not an adult. He can't. He has That's to fair. continue to try and hurt My me pettiness online. was overwhelming, I, I, I Megan. Here, I, I sit here laughing at how petty it is. I mean, even this conversation is really quite petty, really. But well, yeah. Like, well, that's what we do, though. You've got to fight, fight petty with petty. That's exactly. Is, That's my motto, too. All right. Super Sasha X says, what do, uh, what do we call the guest? Alpha Cog or Chad Cog? Uh, um, Beater. <laughs> <laughs> Neither. <laughs> We got to have a better name. Life. <laughs> the Cog Crusher. That's what we're going to call him. All right. He is, he is cut to death. So it's just like, man, I've seen, and every girl he ever gets dumps his ass. So, and then he acts like he's some sort of ladies, man. He's funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, <laughs> tell us some stories about his women. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. Now you've oh, opened dear. up a new chapter. What? Remember when he was going to move to the U.S.? What happened with that? Oh, God, that time. Well, I kind of like broke ties with him back then as well over some dumb shit about a wrench, right? It's just so stupid, but I could go into that later. But, like, um, he, he had a girlfriend in America who had a child to someone else or something. Oh, no, like, no, no, no. I, I didn't know told she... him, I said, why don't you just... I said, why don't you just see her as a piece of ass and be see it like that and stop trying to make her into your girlfriend and go over there. I'm going to move over to America, <laughs> he thought. And it's just, like, it's so fucking cooked. It's like, God... I mean, man, does she give the most amazing head or something? But, like, geez, bro, you've got to learn sometimes that, especially a girl who's got a kid to someone else, that is just, it's not always going to be a great idea, is it? So, and, you know. I didn't know she had a kid by somebody else. He never told us that fact, Oid. That, that was one of them. I don't know how many, but, like, oh. that, this blonde one that I remember, I don't really know. I mean, that was the last Alenska, time. Alenska, I, I think. Alenska or whatever. So, yeah. Alenska, that's the one. That's oh, the one. Yeah. she had a baby yeah. by somebody else? He never told us that. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course he wouldn't, because he looked like a fucking cock. And a weak guy, really, because he can't actually oh. get a, a, a decent woman, really. He wasn't <laughs> oh, else. cock, no. <laughs> oh, not that, you know, Not that I think the single mothers are all that bad, but at the end of the day, you know, fucking well, hell, I wouldn't go for one. You know one. what? I wouldn't go for one. He was, he was you know, part like, well, you know, I haven't either, but... Uh, but he was, you know, he was laughing at Sargon, making all these jokes. To be fair, so were we. But you know, I wasn't trying to get with a single mom 
Uh, exactly, he's a hypocrite, about, uh, though. Yeah. He is a, he's a living hypocrite, Johnny. Right? He's a uh, now, Tiv is another. <laughs> what is his? Is it constant? He's just getting like dumped by these chicks, or like has he had any steadiness? Or like, well, what's his what game know, level? Even even the relationship he's got now, it, well, not much game. His his game is be the simp, basically. Oh, and, that's you know, his game, right simp. Now. Yeah. Well, yeah, his girl right now kind of treats him as a booty call, comes and goes when she pleases, oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> and, and and she drinks beer all day. So at the end of the day. <laughs> It's got a bit of a tash that she shaves off, but, you know. <laughs> other than that, you know, she's all right, girl. She's a lovely lady. <laughs> other than that, she's a lovely lady. Oh my oh, god, yeah. she's lovely. Oh, but, like, geez, what a treat, Christ, Johnny. It, but I think she could actually do better than him. So actually, I look at that relationship and I'm like, well, <laughs> uh, it's a matter of time, you know. She's one of them. <laughs> oh my god, say so, at least she shaves the forever, mustache though. Uh, I mean, she does that, you know, good of her. That's very good of her. Uh, but the drinking of the beer thing, I mean, that's all right. That can be okay. But, but like, how many a day? Three, four cans a day? Jeez, come on now. <laughs> you got a problem, girl. <laughs> Put it down, girl. All right. Uh, let's see. Earthworm Jim gives today one month subscription to users in this channel. Mount Hale with the diamond. Wimley. Wimley just reset for three months, is on a one month streak. Thank you very kindly. Speaking of three month subscriptions, Earthworm Jim also subscribed for three months. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, now let's see here. Let's bring. Oh wait, you have some callers. Why did they all leave? Did they think that I wasn't going to take calls? Or I'm in a different room. You guys just can't see it. I had to Could move. Might. I had to Could move because to of me. <laughs> no, they thought. Yeah, I guess yeah. they could. They can't see us in this room because it's hidden. Uh, the reason I moved you in here is because the audio wasn't working in the other room. You can still call in. I just have to move you uh, to a different room. Uh, Derek Vineyard, you're muted though. I guess you didn't expect it. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me throw out the link. Uh, Vineyard, we can't hear you, sir. Okay. Uh, now, let me throw out the link in chat, see if anybody wants to get in here. Um, now, tell us about what were you going to tell us about, uh, I guess, the moderator status on this channel. Now, I didn't even, excuse me, I didn't know Cog had a brother. I really never knew the deal. <laughs> well, he's, got, and... he's got quite a lot of brother brothers. He doesn't really speak to. <laughs> Really? Oh, like well, maybe that's why. Well, there's seven of us, there's eight of us all together. So we're quite a big family already. But like, he's he's a bit of a loner, really. He kind of sits in his house a lot and just, yeah, is on his, on his this is his thing, isn't it? He's, he's going to go online and, what is he, skips through Twitter and presses on videos. That's what he does, doesn't it? That's his life. <laughs> and he sucks at it, too. That's, that's the problem. That's pretty much it. Right. And he's not even that good at it. And, yeah. and then he throws up on camera and shit. And that was oh, what did you think about that? We covered that like, last week. Well, at the time, I was disturbed by it because, you know, he's my brother. And I'm like, I hope he's not going to die, you know, for well, me. Yeah. And, then I, and then I had his shit girlfriend telling me that I should go around there. And I'm like, you're his girlfriend. Why the fuck aren't you even there? <laughs> is that the chick on oh, Twitter? Right. She calls herself <laughs> Thieves. Is that, is that who you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. That's oh. her. Yeah, yeah. That's her, does, yeah. She got a big, does she got a big gun like the roster here? What is she, ro what is she rocking? Is uh, she I'd say she's got a big set of tits. She hasn't really got, um, I don't know. I won't say she's fat or anything. She's not actually, you know overweight or anything from what i can see but she ain't okay. like super super hot you know <laughs> okay she has all her teeth or no um i think so yeah i think, you think so. so okay well that's not a vote of confidence really all, right. <laughs> all right let's let's go no one cog I'm, I'm not so sure all right uh, let's see. Tango Whiskey. <laughs> no. I've never heard that. As, why has he had girls with no teeth? I like that he was honest, though. He said, well, you know, she's not fat, but nothing to write home about. He didn't He didn't pad the record. Actually, that speaks very highly of your honesty, sir. You could have sat here and just made up anything he's, about he's her. Honest. But you were telling no. the truth. I appreciate that. Go ahead, caller. God caller. damn, Ralph. <laughs> You're going to have a man's brother on? Really? Yeah, Damn. why not? You go for the fucking throat. Damn. Don't remind me never <laughs> yeah, to piss well, you was... off. Well, he tried to make it, it personal. Perfect. Nobody can get more <laughs> personal than me. Uh, anyway, do you have a question for the for the brother? I have one thing. Uh, listen, fucking cogs flagrant, sir. Uh, <clears throat> but man, uh, that's low. Up. You're gonna you're gonna diss your brother like that, man. That's pretty. Low. Dis that's uh, not low. It's not low. What he did was low. And now he's not really. I, I kind of see. I, I don't know. Like I don't like him, but damn. Well, if he didn't damn. come to your house, threatening. I said low. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He didn't yeah, come, to he house. come to your house. Thank you, Tango. We don't need a conscience in here. Get the fuck out. All right, let's take another. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. 
you want to come on and take up for Cog? You know what? Go do that. Yeah, no, really, what the fuck was that? I, I don't know. Saying. You have that right, of course, but you won't last very long on the Cog because I don't have any. I don't have much patience. I get what he's saying. Hey, I feel him. I get yeah. What okay. What do you say to that though? I saw a couple people in the chat and they said, "Wow, this the guy." Way I see it is now. The way I see it is, I've given this motherfucker enough chances in my life. I've let him in my life and cut him off and let him in and cut him off. And this is it now. He's crossed the fucking line of no return. And I wish I could sort things out with my blood bro. But at the end of the day, he's, he's not acting like one. He's acting like some psycho, to be honest. And I just, I don't need to have time for that. I don't care if you're related to me. If you've got mental health issues, go and seek a therapist. Don't fucking come Well, you've known this guy your whole yeah, life. You've given him chance after chance. Maybe this is yeah, what he needs exactly. to wake up and stop being I, a piece of the, shit. I don't know what's going to work. Yeah, I think that's the point. I think if I have to cut him off, that seems to be the only thing to do. But... And it's a weight off my shoulders, too, because he's a stress head. <laughs> I can't. I mean, look, people say, oh, it's your brother. Yeah, that's what he's been riding on so far. That's why he didn't get his head absolutely pasted all over the fucking <laughs> front door, you know? <laughs> so, but I'll be honest about this. I was kind to him. I was very kind to him. I could have fucking destroyed him and then put him in my lift and let Trump's piss all over him if I wanted to. I could have been really cool. <laughs> I could have got his glasses right and snapped him in his face. I could have made some really nasty things to him, but no. He's my brother, you see. Don't come here telling me I don't give a shit about my family, you little pricks. <laughs> I'll All right. put you in your place. I mean, sometimes <laughs> they need tough love, actually. That's that's what they need. This is a tough love example it. right here. I mean, you needed yeah. this, Cog. You needed this. Chauvinist says Cog's brother got all the good genes. No doubt. Of course. Hyphen <laughs> says Cog's brother, new co-host now. We might have to work now. See, he's, you know, in England. So originally I was going to have him on during the kill stream, of course. Because there'll be more people watching. We got like 500 people watching now, but there would have been like 1,000, 1,500 watching at night because <clears throat> that's our usual time slot. But it's really late uh, there in England, so we weren't able to get them on. But hopefully, one night, maybe if you know you're pulling a late night, I'd love to have you guest co-host. Yeah, I think, oh, come I think, on, I'll just I think that would be great. I'll just DM you whenever. whenever yeah, whenever. let's no have problem. you guest co-host. I mean, Cog, he's not. We used to let him come on and guest co-host until he turned out to be a snake. Um, so I think it's only right well, that we give that opportunity to another member, a better member of his family. I think that that's only appropriate. Uh, Chauvinist says, your camera setup looks very professional. Well, thank you. I worked hard on it. It's not quite there. You see this little space here I have to fix, but it's getting there. Uh, and there's a spot over there that I have to fix. But yeah, thank you so much. Um, okay, let's see if there's a few more callers. Oh, I think there are, actually. Let's move him in. Uh, go ahead, Kaz. Uh, chill stream uncut over on YouTube, sir. Go ahead. Hello, uh, Cox brother. Hey, Ralph. How you doing? I'm doing great. You all right? Cool. Uh, hey, just British, uh, <laughs> yeah, British man. Uh, you got any uh, funny childhood stories? Like, was he able to walk uh, at a normal age? What about credit card debt, homeless, you know, <laughs> stuff like that? You know, homelessness, credit card <laughs> debt, drug addiction. Yeah, any drug addictions you don't know. You know, all this kind of like <laughs> funny stuff. You know, go on, man. I remember as a kid, he did have he did have a walker. Yeah, he did. But like, I think a lot of people. <laughs> as far as <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh man. But yeah. So he Poor did. Boy. He he wasn't like. I don't know. What do you want to know exactly? A homelessness. Was he homeless? He like we thought he was homeless, right? Well, yeah. For a while. He's been homeless, and he ended up on my couch at one point, and I actually kind of helped him out again. Oh, so you there. helped him out, and he tried to steal your beats, and <laughs> after you let him. No, do you know what? Do you know what's even worse is when I helped him out. Right after he went and got like, um, after he'd already, no, do you know what's really weird? Before that, so Cog was homeless. <laughs> Cog was completely homeless. You <laughs> let him into your home. Oh my God. Anyway, sorry, I cut you and off. He, I'm just startled. Go ahead. And he lived on my couch for a bit, and I basically gave him, you know, the the information to get himself somewhere to live, basically, and go and live in a hostel or something, just to get himself, you know, just to get him out somewhere. of your house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, too, as well, because the guy was living on my fucking couch. But he doesn't even remember this, but I remember it very well. <laughs> he wants to pretend and like he does everything himself now. You know, <laughs> Somebody in chat said, Angry <laughs> Panda Bear said, Cog the homeless beat thief. <laughs> what the That's fuck? What he is. That's what he is. He's a beat thief. He's not only that thief. He robbed from me as well at one point. Oh, he no, wait. Like before I even let him stay on my couch. This guy, I, I was ill, right? I had a tonsillitis and I was in bed ill. And he came over to my house, and I said, oh, you can hang out in the living room, you know. And this fucking guy digs through my, 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 my wallet and steals my fucking money <laughs> and all my fucking weed. 
And I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, of course, he stole the weed. Puff harder. We know I, I he's going to take I, that. I, I, yeah, yeah. It was irritating, though, because I came to the thing. I was like, who would rob from me? No one I know. Oh, him. He's the only fucker who's been in my house. And I don't <laughs> even worse. It's, when I questioned him on it, he said he denied it. He's like, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And it's like, bullshit. And then it actually took me fucking about a week before he fucking broke down and said, yeah, it was me. And started crying and shit. It's like, fuck me. Well, I got him back for that anyway. I set him up and beat I'd him say you got him back <laughs> now for sure. I've already slapped this guy before. I've already had to give him a little slap already for trying to rob from me. And my whole family helped me set him up. So it's like, it's kind of obvious. And did you know what he did when I punched him? He cried. Oh, oh cool. Oh, please, brother, don't. What did he, oh, what did he right, say? He my other brother to feel sorry for him. And he did. So I was just like, yeah, well, and my other brother wasn't happy about it. I mean, I don't want to have to hit my own brother, but at the end of the day, hey, you're in my area and you robbed me and just scarpered. Because what he did, he just disappeared. Sometimes you got to uh, <laughs> lay the beats parents. down. Uh, so are you the oldest or I is he the oldest? <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm a lot older than him. I'm, um, I'm like about, well, I'm 37 and he's like 30 something. So he's like, okay. it's about How seven, tall six is years he? younger than me. How tall is he in uh, so I'd say. Oh, he's quite tall. He's quite a tall guy. He is tall. I think he's about six two, so he is quite tall. He's taller than me, but he's not sturdy. He's got he's a doughy bit. Langley. He's no oh, muscles. he's not sturdy. A yeah, he's not, he can't fight. He's got, he's got no muscles, and he can't even do one pull up. I mean, a guy bought a pull up bar, right? And he can't even do one. Yeah, we saw it in the background of his stream. So he doesn't even use it, does he? <laughs> and they're like, "This is how you do it." And I had to teach him about you know muscle memory. He doesn't even understand. He's like, "No, I'll just do it my way." It's like, "All right, break your neck." The only yeah, muscle member he knows is the puff harder. He's he's pretty good at that, I have to say. Now, just puff stay harder. with us, Kaz. You can you can help me yeah, anchor the rest it. of this. Just stay with us. By the way, throw out the Discord link. I'll throw it out again. You can't see me in the on air because we had to move rooms because there was some type of error that let us not hear. I have uh, uh, sorted his um, I've sorted his permission out, so it should work. It should work now. Guess what? We're just it gonna stay work. in here though because no, I don't feel like testing it. Green room to call in. Let me do this. I want to get some calls in. We'll get some more stories again. And a special edition of the Killstream here. Uh, Killstream special. Uh, I think uh, Gator has a system where actually these are outside of the regular numbered system of the Killstreams. They're still in the Killstream main list, but it's not a numbered episode. So kind of like an extra dose uh, of the Killstream here. Uh, check stream elements. Okay, I will do that right now. Uh, we're also up on entropy. My dollface123 says this guy doesn't have all his teeth. I don't know what that's all about, bud. Now let me <laughs> let me look at this. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah, what are his uh, what are his teeth like? Are they uh, in good form or? Uh, they're crooked as shit. <laughs> That's one thing I do know. He's like, I'm gonna get the braces or something. It's like, yeah, they're very crooked. And he's got God, my God, yeah. Good thing you broke that up. He's breath stinks. Jeff Vader says Cog is a brain Goodbye. dead. Jeff Vader on stream the moments. Guys, one oh. of those people. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. He's one of those people who, you know, he's, he's, you'll be talking to him and then you get this linger in your nose. You're like, oh, God, please. You have to, like, step back a bit. That's oh, what, that's stinky breath. breath Terrible breath. The worst. And he's, 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 uh, he's even told me he's got this and I'm like, go to a dentist. <laughs> no fucking hell. What's Halitosis cog. Is that what we're going to start calling? How bad is it? Is it like choke a donkey level type? Just like, oh, close your it's, mouth. It's proper. It, it's, it's, it is. It, you've got to, like, close your, and move yourself away. I even have to tell him sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he, he says I've got a sensitive nose. It's really funny. I'm like, no, you just got a stinky. Breath, wait, wait, man. wait. His breath smells like <laughs> shit, and his answer to that is your nose is too sensitive. That's that is cog in a nutshell, right? Oh no my matter God. what, he's always gonna like say, oh, you're you're wrong in some way, even though you're com he's obviously wrong. You know, it's insane. But, now, you know, by the way, I see Chauvinist says vomit breath cog. Is it possible because he's vomiting on himself at all times that? I that this is oh, why his breath God. smells like shit. I mean, I that he would make sense. He could be a regurgitator. He could. Maybe I think that that could be. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Chauvinist, Chauvinist says, what did you do to Gobinson to make him a stalker? I don't know. We love Gobinson, of course. Uh, he's a, he's like a character. He's like a, I don't know. Am I doing a Netflix show or something? Why, why would I care about an actor uh, saying a bunch of bullshit? Chauvinist says, vomit breath cog. We repeated that. Uh, okay. Jeff Vader over on Stream Elements says, Cog is a brain-dead bitch, and if he wants to run his mouth, he can catch these hands at any Tesco. Bring it, you Manchester person, is what he said. But it wouldn't make any difference because he'd just turn it around on you if he did it. So. <laughs> uh, Sinecal says, meant to comment this yesterday, but I was asleep. 
Chris Soygun is a bitch who went on Maddox's podcast and called the Maddox lawsuit petty drama and Vouch's stream and listened to Vouch describe him as part of the alt-right pipeline. I didn't know he went on with Vouch, but that sounds about right. He's a cuck. God. He's completely off topic. Chris, Vouch. Oh, my God. Cuck Reagan. Oh. I just don't even... <laughs> yeah, what a... Yeah, exactly. All right, let's no, take you... a couple callers because we, we do have some. Let's, let's uh, keep... Just, uh, just to say, uh, you uh, watched his show, right, uh, Cog's brother? I did. I used to actually support him on his show as well. Sometimes. And not what he says and stuff. I didn't really like half of it, but like, I just support him because I'm his brother, you know? I'd just be there. Yeah, sure. And it did what, what do you think about his show in no, general? Was, Pretty good? Or? It. Um, it can be entertaining sometimes, but it's nothing and no one else could do. See, the thing I've noticed about him is, is he, he just copies. That's all he does. He just copies what everyone else does. And it's kind of boring, really, after a while, I think. I agree with that 100%. All right, now no, let's, okay. let's take I'm some... Come up with something new, bro. <laughs> oh, just stop playing the cop videos every night, bro. Uh, he no, he no, no. tries to bitch at me because I get, you know, all these awesome guests that he, you know, won't even, they won't even talk to him, much less come on his show. He wishes he could out of it. Yeah. Oh, a nice compliment there, Ralph. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> but he says, the oh, thing, well, you know, but Ralph's just relying on these guests. That's the only reason anybody watches the show. And I'm thinking, oh. well, what do you mean? All these great guests? That's not an insult. That's a compliment. <laughs> That's You're a variety going. show. I know going somewhere. Yeah. I, I told my brother myself, I said, because he used to tell me if he was bitching about you. And stuff. Oh, was he? What do you say? What do you used to say? He was just saying you got, um, he said something you had like a fucking, he said you were fat or something. He said you can't That's true. Bills and stuff like That's that. true. And I was, but I can't <laughs> pay my bills. Stuff. I'm not homeless Dude, I, like I'm, Cog. I'm, I'm doing sure, really I'm well, sure. actually. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sure you own it and not, not ask. And that's, that's what I said. I said, I said, you better, but this guy is going somewhere. He's clearly got a good radio voice and he's, he's got a lot of following. So, I think you're just jealous. That's what I told him straight up, and he didn't like that very much. I can imagine he didn't like that very much. Poor, poor cog. So has he done uh, any any more uh, crying about other people online, uh, specifically Ralph? Has he cried more about Ralph's success and stuff like that? Um, or just anybody? He, he does cry about Ralph the most. I've noticed that's the one he moans about. The most. <laughs> wow. I think you're the one who hurt him the most. <laughs> oh, we oh. heard him. Oh, we heard him on the radio. Oh, oh my gosh. He is Andy Walsh or something most. sometimes. He disses him, but. Oh, you know, man. That sounds about that's, right. That's like that's low hanging fruit, you know? Come on. <laughs> Let's oh, be honest. my God. Fed... Not, not, not saying I don't like Andy. I think he's all right, but like, just, you know, it's not hard to pick at him, is it, really? You know? We love that's Worski. The... By the way, he yeah, was going to stop by today. Uh, and help cool me with guy. the show. He and he wanted me to thank you personally for coming on the kill stream. Oh. Andy Worski <laughs> told me to thank you personally. Andy, you're welcome, my friend. Uh, he's... I, I do think you're cool, but I just know people. Will well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. King Slog. You, you be yourself online, which is cool, isn't it? That's the thing I like about him. So. King Slog says hat mode, best mode. Thank you. Uh, I do love this hat, by the way. Uh, Chauvinist says you and Cog's brother should stage an intervention. Uh, Fed Zeppelin <laughs> says, "Poor old Johnny Death Breath." Johnny <laughs> oh, Death Breath. Oh shit. Oh poor cog, poor cog. Cuber says, "Fuck Ralph and his amazing guests and funny callers." I know what a tragic, what a tragic setup we have going here. All right, now we're gonna finish off the callers because uh, they're getting antsy. Uh, Dick Tolls, you're on the kill stream, sir. Go ahead, kill stream special. On uh. uh I guess this is for Cog's brother. You know, I understand. Like, no one here likes Cog. Uh, Look, no if it's Attack of the Conscience, I really don't want to hear that. If that's what it's about, no, no. But I mean, if that's I, what it's I about, guess... just cut it short because I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. Okay, that. well, I, I guess at the end okay. of the day, you'll always be known as Cog's brother, and no one really gives a fuck about you either. So, well, oh, you haven't seen what we're gonna do with this fresh. guy just yet, sir. I think you're just talking I, shit I think, about his brother. Okay, get, He's get, a piece of shit, out. man. Get out of here, Thank Dick you. Tolls. We don't like you. Get out of here. Thank you, man. And I love that. I love it when guys do that. They're showing their insecurity. Get out Beautiful. of here. Get out of here. Oh, he's so mad. He's so mad that Cog's brother is over here sounds, talking to you. You're so fucking mad. Like Cog. Oh, yeah. It Shut sounds up. Sounds like Cog going, oh, you're going to be known as Cog's brother. Please If don't. you're calling in with that sad shit, get saying. the fuck out. Like, I really don't want to hear it, like, honestly. All right. Uh, let's take another caller. God. Happy okay. bitch, you know? Right. I'm usually a good caller, Dick Tolls, by the way, but complete disagree. <laughs> and you haven't seen you haven't seen me work yet, motherfucker. Just wait until I'm done. All right. Okay. Wow. Is this Cog, uh, is, Cog, these, uh, is that Cogs one of Cogs? Yeah, I was about to say, is that one of Cogs' homeless <laughs> buddies uh, there that called in from the uh, from the high street uh, high street alley that they live in that used to be Cogs' home? I'm not sure what happened. 
<laughs> oh, poor cog, poor cog. They're not sending their best, chat, I have to say. All right, let's take another. Ooh, this is sad. Okay. I can understand why they would want to derail this with the epic revelation it, after revelation, just each one making cog look worse and worse. <laughs> I can understand why they would want to call in and I'll derail this epic expose <laughs> that's taking place live right now on the kill stream. Let's take another caller. Uh, go ahead, Sedan. You're muted, though. We can't hear you. Sit down you there. Can you unmute yourself? There we, there go. we go. I think it did that on its own. Okay, so no, you know, so. What's this about you having a good radio voice, Ralph? Yeah, I agree with that. Shut up. <laughs> a skilled radio broadcaster, but I don't know. Uh, I think a, the golden uh, singing voice. That's, that's your... Yeah, okay. yeah, we got it. We got it. reminds it. me of Tom Likas. I like, I like Tom Likas as well, if you've heard of him. He's from LA. But like, he sounds similar to him. So, exactly. uh, Cog's brother, what are we calling you? Calling me. Uh, my name's Mike. Mike? Mike, are you going to be the Mike. British correspondent? You got any hot takes on politics? What, what's your audition here to be the, the new co-host? I didn't know I was in an audition, but uh, <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just come and chat to you if you want. If you want. It's up to you. But I actually make beats most of the time and rhymes and stuff. So that's really what I do on, the, on YouTube. But... To be on here, I don't know. I'm in, in an audition right now, am I? Yeah, we didn't tell you, but um, actually, I'm dead serious. I think you should take over Cog's time slot. Um, I don't know what your time commitment is during the day, but uh, we can definitely set you up with more viewers than Cog. Anything after six is usually okay. Okay, you yeah. Have, Let's see. It's, have some it, sick beats for us. It's seven now, maybe a 2 p.m., 3 p.m. time slot. I think that that would be good. Yeah. If you want me to make any beats, I can do your beat. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have you make a beat for the kill stream. I think I like that idea, actually. Yeah. And we'll give you full yeah. credit, of course. We're not like Cog. We're not going to steal your beats and try to... I can't rhyme on them. Yeah, no. <laughs> Cheeky right. bastard. I got one. Uh, I got one here. So um, the beats and all the drama about that, was that just about jealousy or money? Was it about money at all? Or was it... Doing money. See, he didn't pay me anything. So now if he didn't even me pay you. then I'd... I'd understand his little discretion, you see, because I'd be paying me, wouldn't he? But you don't pay me shit. This guy gets donations, doesn't give me a penny. He's a little shit. He just scaffolds it all through. But he himself. never paid you for any of the beats, and he tried to thieve them and not no. let you. What a fuck. He's never, he, he, right, he's never paid me for anything, right? Even when I used to have a different channel, I was on his old channel. I just, all I asked for was a wrench. And this guy kicked off about it and just made out like I was a bad guy for asking. And I was just like, yeah, but. <laughs> what's the problem it's that he doesn't trust me i even said can i come on your show no nope. straight up point blank no <laughs> wow it's just lack of respect what a piece like, of shit he could have gave you I mean, he had a show it was successful at one point in time not anymore but he could have brought you on his show gave his brother a little boost you know what i mean sure. all i would say just, you on show. just one segment he could have said hey here's I my here's my bro me. my big bro he makes some beats he makes some of the beats for me you know, I'm not. I'm not going to sit here like rubbing my own ego and saying that he's jealous. Because I don't even know if he's jealous. But if he is, then that would explain it, yeah. <laughs> so he wouldn't else... let you on his show at all, just even as a oh, friend. Not you at know? all. Not. No. No. Never. But he'd let me in the chat. That's about it. And he wouldn't even give me a wrench. So it's just. Wouldn't even give you a wrench. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we need. Even, a... even when I asked. <laughs> we need a Mike versus Cog blood sports. Oh, oh, man. Well, it's impossible though. You try talking to this guy. Have you ever, have you ever tried? I have tried, yeah, <laughs> actually. Well, he'll just vomit all over he'll himself. Literally bulldoze through. He won't listen to a word you say. So, oh, <laughs> I, would, I would have to agree. Sedan, thank you for calling in, man. Yeah, take it easy. All right, you have a good one. Take care, man. All right, now I right. completely forget how to move people out of here because we're. I'll do it. So. Okay, yeah, please handle that. Do you want right. me to uh, bring in a caller? No, I got one. I have to bring them in next, and I'll let you do the next one. Go ahead, uh, Lou. Saying, by the way, been in the call room for like two days in a row, and I keep trying to get you in, and then uh, whatever <laughs> time runs short. Anyway, I got you in today. Go ahead. That's all good. Um, I don't think some of these folks realize what it's like being stabbed in oh. the back. You know, I'm out is it me or Thursday. I can't hear this? Yeah, your your voice is I a little. You. You're, you're on the wrong mic, I think, or you sound like I'm far sorry. away. Far away, yeah. Uh, hold on just a second. Can't hear this con. All right, well, well, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, that sounds yeah. a lot better. Yeah. Oh, then, and then he's gone. All right, let's try uh, again. Let's back, yeah, bring him back uh, in. Bring him back in. Yeah, I'll bring. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay, you didn't bring him back in, though. That's the thing. All right, there you yeah, go. Yeah. There you go. Lude saying, go ahead, sir. Sorry. 
That's okay. Right. Just just get it out. I, said, I, said, I think some of these people realize what it's like they stabbed in the back. Like, this last yeah. Thursday, I had a uh, sp- spinal surgery, and I don't feel like I was stabbed. That's the way his brother went there. I can't. So you you him. feel like uh, he Cog's brother is stabbing Cog in the back? Uh, that's funny. Well, yeah. I, from what I said, it's, it's more just a. I, it's it's know, more of a. Recall, I think yeah. he was talking about Cog actually. Um, as we was talking about, it was definitely oh, yeah, yeah. By, by the way, I'm gonna have to take you out because your your audio's like not good. Terrible. Terrible. I, I, yeah. Honestly. I'd say Thank I'm you for support. The support, by the way, on Patreon stuff. But I can't. We can't hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I wouldn't even say it's retaliation. I'd say it's just me. Just I, I've come to somewhere I've been invited to, uh, to say my piece on what happened, and that's really all I've done. By the way, I took it. I took it as. Uh, I took it as. An, uh, what, backstabbing is what? Have you seen his channel? That's backstabbing, my friend. Well, I was about to say he made a huge stream on you yesterday. Put out all your information, your What's name, and all this shit. Um, if oh, I th- man, today as well. Oh, is uh, it really? He's doxed me too hard. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I heard. I didn't actually watch it, but uh, I'm just saying. Oh, I didn't watch it either. But I've heard. Is that <laughs> the truth, really? So he he wants to put my details. I don't know out if that's there. true okay. or not. I don't know if that's true or not. But I'm just saying. Uh, don't well, that, check it. Double check it. Don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double I check it. Know. I don't really want to watch it, but like you know, <laughs> if you can let me know if that's true or not, because I've got a few people in my DMs that would love Cog's information, and they're begging me for it. So like they can fucking do his in or something. I don't know what the fuck No, they want to do. Well, no, we don't support that. All right. Chauvinist says, remember when Jess used to be Jess used just to be crank call him. Uh, Sh- Chauvinist says, remember when Jess used to just be Lauren's sister? Exactly. That's a perfect example. Chauvinist says, What do you think of Cog dating a Mary- married woman? I didn't know that. Oh well. Oh, uh, we have a no. I forgot about what about what, what about he's trying to get. I'm trying to keep all the women straight with him that he's gotten with that you know had kids or was otherwise engaged with somebody else. He came here last year and he was going to get with this chick who had no teeth. Uh, get with anyone who gives him attention. He's, he likes he thoughts like that. You know, of course he will. I mean, yeah, it's sad. And they don't Easy even fuck him though. That's the thing. Like, what the hell? Like, he's oh, not man. even. Get, he's not even getting. Yeah, no. Oh man. They just. They just tell him they're too busy. <laughs> oh, sorry, Cog. Uh, texting is one thing, sir, but I don't want to actually sorry, see you in public. Too busy doing some. I'm doing some work, Cog. <laughs> you know what I mean? Lot too lizards busy. that he tries to fucking pick up. Sad. Sad. Chauvinist. <laughs> oh, I read that. Uh, Chauvinist also said the telltale beats. Exactly, sir. Now let me check entropy. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Colin Stevens says, "Does Cog's breath smell the way Vamp's poop, poop tooth looks?" No, it's it's probably better. You know, it's I mean, poop tooth's probably better than his breath. His breath is horrible. It's, it's really horrendous. <laughs> I've never sat next to someone and been like having to hold my breath like that. It was just oh also God. Dollface over in Entropy uh, claims that I don't understand loyalty. Actually, ma'am, I understand loyalty quite well, wow. and that's why you're that's seeing lovely. this program. That you're seeing today, anyway. That's and why I'll this is on right just, now. I, I, exactly. I understand loyalty more than you could ever imagine, and Cog's gonna understand it too by the time I'm done. Anyway, uh, now let's see. We have a couple. I got. Uh, I got one more Go thing. Ahead, um, give a question before I bring in few, the last two callers. Few, a few years ago, um, I think what was it about summer? You know, when Cog was celebrating. You know, when you were uh, not having a good time. Um, do you remember? Cog being very happy and getting loads of viewers, Icarus, and really thinking he was going really far. Um, Do you remember that? I don't know, really. I remember, I remember one time he was, and he was getting a big head about it, and that's when the whole thing about the wrench, he kind of fell out with me over that, and then did really chat to me after that for a few months, or for a few years, actually. And then um, he's he, now, because he's basically just going nowhere with it, he's, he's, you know, he wants to speak to me again. <laughs> it's like, that's yeah, there was a point where he did get very big-headed about his work, yeah. And it's just sad, really. It still is like that, but I don't even know why, because he's not even got much of a show anymore. Got like less than 100 oh. people looking at his show. It's like, what the fuck? You ain't shit, bitch. You don't even have a fucking verified account. What the fuck are you? <laughs> what a loser Cog is. Twisted Puppet says, can you confirm Cog is from Manchester? I mean, I can confirm that just by listening to him talk, but uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm a monk, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you can tell the mank accent. There's a show I that I used to watch uh, called Ideal, and it was on... A little B- different to Cog. Have you seen the show? I know both of you guys are weed smokers. It's a show called Ideal. No, I mean, <laughs> it was on. It was on BBC yeah. Three. Johnny Vegas was in it. Uh, there was this cartoon head character. I love that show, by the way. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's Psycho Paul, he knows the show, Psycho Paul. Oh my God, you actually, you know how many people I've talked to and most of them don't know this show, dude, at all. Anyway, Psycho Paul, Cartoon Head. Cat, was it? Cartoon Head, that's it, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Jenny, oh my God. Oh, that show's amazing. Uh, and the reason I brought it up is because um, it's set, like, it's in a uh, suburb of Manchester. I forget which one. Uh, so, uh, not Salford. I think it might be Salford. I'm not sure. I forget probation. which one. I'm on probation. <laughs> yeah, I'm on probation. See, I think it's Salford. I, isn't that a suburb of Manchester? I want to say it's... Well, it's Salford, not like... You say that, but if you go to Salford, some people might get quite offended that you say it's part of Manchester. I'd say it is part of Manchester, but some people say no, Salford is its own place. You see, so but it's they have on the, it's on the outskirts. It's Greater Manchester, really. Right, but I, I'll say this: some of the sayings and some of the accents, it's a different accent uh, than than London accent and and other parts of England. So I would actually have to look up some of the sayings and and like really listen hard because they they put on. You, I can, you know, understand fine, but some of the references and stuff I didn't get, and they had the really thick uh, Mank accent. Yeah, uh, it'll teach you some fun words. Yeah, yeah it will. Know. Oh, my God. There's a whole forum where I'd have to go look up some of their sayings. <laughs> Ideal, BBC3. I'm still pissed at the BBC because that show was on for seven years, and they didn't give us a real finale. Yeah. Fuck you, BBC. No, That's for me. BBC. All right. I fucking hate them. Red Rambo <laughs> says, get the bro to report COG for welfare, for welfare fraud. No, no, no. He's done enough. We don't want to take it to legal. We don't want to make <laughs> uh, it like that. This is the point. Yeah. You know what's well, the that, was, he, I, I, uh, was he on welfare, just to confirm that? Been on it before. Yeah, he's been off and on it. He's been on welfare. He's, he's, he, 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 he's worked as well, but nothing like, he's not really been able, he's got no qualifications, so it's not like he can get a good job. He just gets warehouse work, really. So, you know, that's what he does. But he thinks he's such a great, like, go-getter because of that. It's just very, like, funny to watch. But, you uh, know, uh, yeah. So okay, we got, like, forth, like, we got, like, two more callers. <laughs> I didn't want to make it too long. I just want to keep it a little bite-sized program that everybody can enjoy. Uh, Invidious Envy, go ahead, sir. You're on the Kill Stream special. Yeah. Hello, guys. How's it going? Going great. Hello. hello. Uh, another Brit here. So, uh, just for the record... Hi. This is funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All the pussies that were calling That's in. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I know. But yeah, I've been across to Manchester a few times. Speaking of the TV shows, what about Shameless? Shameless was. Yeah, Shameless is great. Yeah, Shameless, right. great. Yeah, it was so funny. That pissed so, guy was hilarious. So, so, so does Shameless have any relation to Kong? Could you, is... Cause, Cause that's what uh... I imagine when I think. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Well, but, well, not really. I don't know. It's like he's 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 been homeless because of his because he was grown up and now had to move out of home at the age of twenty odd. You know, so he did, he did stay <laughs> well, at home for a long time. So he was kind of like a mummy's boy for a few years. I mean, I ran away from home right when I was like fifteen, so I kind of fucked up there. But like he he stayed at home till he was about twenty odd, and then he had to you know move out and get himself a place. But he ended up homeless because he couldn't afford it and stuff. So we ended up well, on my couch, and then, uh, you know, yeah, but, I kind of helped him out getting some counselling. Some ca a council flat that he's got now. Yeah, but uh, I've been to Manchester a few times at work, and the amount of homeless and drugs, it's just, it's shit yeah, it's a lot. Manchester. So it's... has he actually lived on the streets <laughs> with the fucking druggies? No, and... I have. Right. I have. No, I'll tell you, right. nothing, but not with What about Spice? No, what about Spice? I, I was on the streets until I got myself off the streets, you know? It was one of those. I was kind of homeless at one point but i'd run away from home so it was like a, it was a lot of things well you know you're things. probably going to be homeless cog was homeless because he had no other you know because he's a, waste he's a complete he can't take care of himself <laughs> yeah. he's a complete you know he has to bounce yeah. around from single it's, mother it's, to single mother that, trying that's to that's how i you know. describe that's how i describe uh, his relationships with his girls he needs mommy to help him you pulled yourself up by the bootstraps pulled yourself off the streets while he's just yeah. oh, no, please help me oh, yeah. please <laughs> all right Pathetic but, figure. Go ahead. But 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 saying about drugs. What what about spice? Because I know spice was a big thing in Manchester. That that turns people into. I've zombie. heard of it, and I've seen I've seen on YouTube like what happens to people who take it. But yeah, has cock. I've never touched has it cock. myself. Has cock. I don't know. I mean, he just he's trying a lot of things. So I don't really fucking what, know what. what he's what's the it. hardest drug? Got crack? <laughs> Heroin? I don't know. I don't know. I don't All right. You know what? Crack, I like no. that he's doing um, this because it would be easy for him to say, "Yeah, cock smokes crack." Nobody well, could. We, everybody would laugh, right? And nobody would double check because there's no way I'll to double honest, check. But I, I, I like that you're honest. Go ahead. It's too pussy to do hard drugs. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, so Jason, like 
but but, but we are handle like, them. Gentlemen, speak one at a time, please. Please speak one at a time. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Dixon Uranus. Dixon Uranus says Cog doesn't have a pot to puke in uh, in the regular chat. Oh, poor Cog. Uh, he just pukes with his shirt. Oh, God. King Schlag <laughs> just subscribed monthly, and he also said this I, with the Ninja Gini. He says, and go, and go, brah. Uh, I don't know. I tried to do the link, but I can't really. Adel Wolf Subcultured says, by the way, thank you for the Ninja Gini. Adel Wolf Subcultured says, Salford is part of Manchester. If you're red, Ralph, I think he's talking about uh, Manchester United uh, uh, there. Yeah, hey, my. Yeah. Uh, Red Rambo says, "Ask the bro was Cog breastfed." I mean, I don't know if he knows that. Or not. <laughs> I, mean, I think he was a fucking. I think he was a, a, a test tube baby, as far as I'm <laughs> <concerned>. <laughs> not even related. Well, that actually, uh, no. that actually goes on to what I was going to say. Uh, do you both have the same dad? Is did your oh, mom yes. do anything we, like that? We, no, no, no. My mom and dad very good. You know, they stayed together for all their lives. You know, so it's nothing like that. But okay, like, okay, I did have a. There was a gap basically, between my younger brother, Luke, and, and him, who's like about, well, about six years, where they, my dad couldn't have kids, apparently, according to the doctors, right? So <laughs> apparently, he's a miracle baby, you know, according to my mom. <sighs> and that just tells me, test, test you, baby, you know? <laughs> but yeah. I might be wrong about this. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, you know? Don't, you know, don't hold me to this. Well, what, do, uh, what do your parents uh, think of him? Are they proud of him? Do they know about his show? Are they happy well, with what he's doing? Well, this is the thing. It's quite funny. I, I mean, I know his little weakness now because his his he hasn't shown his family his show. He's scared oh, of what no. they think. So that's like just one of my missiles ready in my arsenal. <laughs> like, <even> really, you know? <laughs> I'm just like waiting now. I'm like, okay, you fuck with me. I'll tell your whole family what you do. I'll just send them the channel and see how you feel after that. See if your family hate you, John. <laughs> so they don't know... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Happy They'll Boxing Day, do. Johnny! <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So they don't know what he does, or...? Silly. Oh. No, they don't. They, they know he's on YouTube, but they don't know exactly what he does. Oh, so, wow. I, I do they think he's like a big, uh, big deal, or...? I know he doesn't want them to know, because I posted on my Facebook one of his shows, just out of support, and he's, he's, he told me to take it down straight away, because I want my family to see it. So I was just like, ah! <laughs> you're such well, the, a said, well, the puke show? video... Is the first one you send? No, it? no, I'm, yeah, no, but yeah, of course. <laughs> That's the one I'm going to want to show my mum. <laughs> <So>, <laughs> I can't wait. I've got to see my mum in two weeks when she's ready, right? She's like a bit busy at the moment. But when I go and see her, I'm going to, I'm going to reveal. Have a little chat? Anyway. Well, Already. you'll have so. to come back and fill us in on how that went. Will you do that? Just Oh, oh, I will. Yes! <laughs> yes! Okay. He's coming <laughs> back. <laughs> Invidious <laughs> Envy, thank you for calling in, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, you have a good one. Yeah, nice to meet you, bro. He's going to yeah. come in and give us the dirt. All right, let's bring in the last caller. Dark Butters, you're the last caller, sir. How's it going, Ralph? Oh, God. Great, it's so actually. Hard. This is a great day for me. Go ahead. Yeah, you got me during work, so I'm exhausted. So um, this guy, your your Cog's brother, and remind me, he's the, he's the guy who got mad at Ralph because he wouldn't debate some other Spurg. What, what yeah, was, and he why? also vomited all over himself last week, if you remember when we covered the that. That's I, the I guy. did see that, I'm and that made of, me laugh. I'm quite ashamed of the guy. I'm oh, he's ashamed to be... Oh, God, go ahead. I'm sorry. Ralph, that's, that's what unfortunate. What he did the other day was shameful. What, coming to my house, acting like that, embarrassing. I couldn't believe what he did. I was quite in shock. I wish I'd got it on video, but I'm so annoyed. Have <laughs> you got any uh, funny videos you could uh, upload of him? Or any uh, pictures no, that are funny? Or... No, no, come on. We, we, uh, we, no, no, no. I we don't want to take it there. I, I don't right. play like that anyway. I, I don't want to go too low. It's the way I see it. Yeah, is, keep it above board. board. I think yeah, everything I you've done so far has been I, fair. I, 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 I want to say right here is, you know, Cog, if you're listening, I'm over it, man. Please just go away. It's over. I'm not making beats for you anymore. Go and work with Skull Kid. You know, you'll have a great time. And that's all I want to say to him. I know he's listening. You're making beats for us now. Exactly. Making he's our in-house beat anyone, maker anyone, now, sir. He's the kill stream right. beat master. He has nothing to do with you anymore. He's moved up. Sorry, it's gone. It's over. It's up and over. <laughs> over we will de exclusively debut your beats here on the kill stream. Give you all the credit. Direct people to your channel. We can't fuck with Cog. We don't want him getting the shine. Don't give him any more of those I beats. I don't fuck want him. him any shine. Ah, fuck him. Yeah, fuck exactly. him. That's straight the way I feel about it. What do you think of his songs? Like his uh, his lyrics and stuff. Do you think they're good yes. or? Oh, let, let me get into that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> fuck me. This guy's lyrics. I, you know, I'd say he's okay, but 
I think he's he's flawed in one area. He's one of those people he, he Talent. writes, yeah, that's but the he area. never freestyles. He never freestyles, so he doesn't know how to freestyle. So all he does is just kind of make it. He kind of stays within his comfort zone, and that's like you notice it when you hear his lyrics. It's just all very samey, you know. And it's kind of there's no like creative flair in it at all. And I always said that. To, I always like tried to point this out because he was basically writing most of the lyrics. So I was just like, you know, can't we just do it this way? No, no, no. I've got to do it everything his way. So I even actually really gave him quite a lot of creative control over the songs anyway. It's just that when he tried to completely out me off my beat, I was like, no, you're not doing that, you cheeky twat. Back the fuck up. <laughs> Back the fuck up. King Slog says, North, North Ireland will be ours soon. Red Rambo says, ask the bro, has Cog ever tried to off himself? Oh, we won't get there. That's for the next time. That's if Cog really goes low in response to this. We'll have this guy back. We're going to have him back anyway. Yeah, we're yeah, we're exactly. going to see. It's up to you, Cog, how low you want to get if we want to go there and start I, I, getting there. I want there. Cog to know, though. I, like, I'm over it. I won't be making any videos about him. I could it's up make to you, buddy. Video. We'll have this guy back, and I'll song. make sure it's seen by everybody. <laughs> so, anyway. It's hey, up to you. I, I didn't like the way you like smeared your brother, Cog. That, that upset me. That upset me. Go ahead. Go ahead, caller. Okay, um, so can you give us your best, I guess, like, embarrassing family story about COG, if, if it's not too uh, personal? And uh, secondly, you're always welcome on my board game stream, if ever. You can sunset me, Ralph. Good oh, night. and you do yours late night, too, so that would actually... Yeah, I'm probably... really late. That might actually line up with right. when he's on. All right, thank you, Dark Bush. Appreciate it, man. You have a good one. Uh, being you too. born, that's his most embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor COG. There's got to be something, like, over the years that was just critically embarrassing. Now, he threw up all over himself. Now, we speculated that he also... Uh, we speculate that he also shit on himself at the same time. Has he ever shit himself that you know? Oh, I don't want to know. I don't really know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, was about to I, say, honestly, I don't know him that well because I kind of cut him off a lot. Do you want an embarrassing you know? story? Just so, look at his videos like his brother just said. I mean, that's that's the embarrassing that's story. That's my point. His whole embarrassing story is his fucking videos. So. Oh, poor I'm God. Oh, dear. About me. Chauvinist says that feeling when no toothless mommy girlfriend. Red Rambo says, "Ask the bro, can you get Cog's mom on?" Oh, we can't do that. Chauvinist, oh, nah, no. Chauvinist says, She's "Miracle." A good lady, yeah, exactly. She, she wouldn't do that to her own son. Uh, I would love it, and of course I would host it, but I know she wouldn't do that. Chauvinist says, "Miracle baby" means they had him too late. Red Rambo says, "Ask the bro, does Cog have a criminal history?" He does talk about people's criminal histories a lot. I don't know if he has one or not. Um, but... Cog, uh, yeah, he's super a pussy. He hasn't got a criminal history. Are you quite kidding me? He, yeah. he's, he's not that type of person. I don't person. know balls he's to a, commit crime. That sounds bad. He's like. a dweeb. He's not even in that world. He's a wannabe. You know? <laughs> he is. <laughs> Mike, sir, tell them where they can find you, and thank you for coming on the Kill Stream. Welcome. Uh, you can find me on, on my channel on YouTube and on Twitter. Um, my name's Icarus on there, but, you know, just come and find oh. me if you want to. And real quick. Um, yeah, I'm sure I you can get a link. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Give me the link. I'll tweet it out. I'll, I'll let people know. Um, spell it out so they can find you on YouTube. It's Icarus with an I Q A R U, and then there's a five at the end instead of an F. So. Well, thank you so much, sir, for coming on. I hope we can have you back. Um, you know, in whatever it's capacity. Been a yeah, man. I hope you have a good one. Fuck Cog, yeah. and I'm glad you came time. on today, sir. Thank you for helping me vent. <laughs> You're very much welcome. I'll talk to you yeah, soon. Yeah, thank you for coming on. No problem, man. Take care. All right. See you later, guys. See you later, man.